Hi there, this is Andrew from Parker Adams Boat Sales and I am here today on a video walkthrough tour that I have been looking forward to doing for a very, very long time. If anyone's seen the Facebook Live I did this morning when we left the Hamble River, I was very excited to be coming over to Gosport today. And the reason is this boat just behind me. It's a Sunseeker Hawk 34. It's a 1999 model. However, it has absolutely had everything done to it. And when I mean everything, I really mean everything from mechanics through to the interior, through to the engineering, and it is just in breathtaking condition. So what I'm going to do is just run through a couple of the upgrades that have happened to this boat. The most noticeable one is, as far as I'm aware, it's the only Sunseeker Hawk 34 on the planet that has Volvo Penta D6 engines. So it's been re-engined from the older generation CAD engines through to the new D6s. They generate 350 horsepower and this boat is cruises along in excess of 35 knots. So the cruise speed on this is 35 to 38 knots and totally at wide open throttle about 44 knots and the performance is absolutely breathtaking. If anyone's been on one of the Sunseeker Hawk 34s you'll know how they cut through the sea and how they handle when you put them into a turn they just feel fantastic but it's not just the mechanics that have been upgraded on this boat she's got a completely new electrical pa um, package which includes proportional bow and stern thrusters for those of you that are not familiar with what proportional means most people are used to that joystick on a bow and stern thruster you move it to one side the bow and stern thruster comes on with one set power level not so on this boat they have proportional thrusters which mean if you touch the joystick just a little bit you get a little bit of power. If you touch it all the way across, you get full power. And what that means is full control on the boat. Even to the point of pressing a hold button, you can actually get the both thrusters to just pin the boat gently against the pontoon while you step off and put the fenders on. In terms of the rest of the electronics, the other thing that's been fitted just in the last few weeks is a Dockmate system. Now, Dockmate is a revolutionary new um, bit of equipment which is going on to lots of really, really high-end boats. And as far as I know, it's the first one in the world that's gone onto a Hawk 34. And what Dockmate does is give you full control over the boat from a wireless keypad. Now, that controls the bow and stern thrusters and also the engines. There's joystick controls, you twist the joystick, the boat will spin around 360 degrees, you touch the uh, thrusters and they move. So you could be on the stern of the boat and have full control over both the engines and the bow and stern thruster. So that's just touching on some of the upgrades that have been done on the boat. But what I also want to talk about is the condition of the boat. This boat has been absolutely lovingly detailed by Platinum Marine and has kept in absolutely tip-top condition and it's also been ceramic coated. So this, what the ceramic coat does is it really locks in the shine, locks in the protection of a boat and whereas you may have perhaps a wax protection on a boat which might last just two or three months, a ceramic coating should last years and it makes a massive difference when you're washing off the boat and you get all that amazing hydrophobic effect when you wash down the boat and all the water just beads off it. So I'm talking too much, let's carry on with the walkthrough tour. If you walk down the boat with me and what I'll do is as I see things which have been done to this boat I'll point them out. The first thing to mention is the teak, really really striking on this boat. It's been fitted by a company called Elite Teak and they are absolutely the best company to do teak on the south coast. It's to the point that if you ask for a recommendations online who to use for teak pretty much everybody says elite teak and there's a reason for it the quality of the workmanship is exceptional and this boat is fitted with weathered multi teak so what you have in here is you actually have three different tones of teak um, color within the effect and what it does is it creates a very natural effect to the teak and I'll show you more of that as we walk through the boat. You'll also notice on the rear LED lights. Now, all the lights have been upgraded on this boat um, to LEDs, and that also includes, at this age of boat, what you had was you had quite large um, light clusters, which obviously had halogen bulbs in them. And on this type of boat, quite often they were recessed. Well, the owner on this particular boat actually had all of that re so all of that recess was removed to have some really beautiful LED lights fitted in. So you can see a stir LED light there and as we walk around the boat I'll point out in a minute, in fact I'll do it now, I'll point out um, these really really ultra modern very very bright um, Lupo lights um, which are very much um, popular on super yachts but of course you have it on this beautiful boat here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the camera for a second just while we walk down the boat and just to show you the condition of all of the superstructure you can see the shine on there now this boat actually hasn't been washed down for a week or so but it still looks absolutely superb and again the white hull under here 
looking absolutely brilliant. All of the seals have been done on the windows and you'll also notice some fantastic covers. Now this is done in a grey tweed fabric and that covers the whole of this area with a great camper cover and it's also got a fantastic feature that it comes with a skylight. Now I've never actually seen one of these before um, on any boat um, but the owner felt that it would be fantastic if they just had a little bit more light coming in through the covers so it wasn't just coming in from the sides but it was also coming in from the top and that's what this skylight does. So as we step on the boat as I mentioned I'll just keep walking through the features and all of the upgrades that have been done onto this boat. Access onto the Hawk 34 is really nice and easy you've got nice access steps that come around here and you can just step straight from the pontoon onto this step here which is a really nice solid piece of synthetic teak. So if we keep walking on board the boat You can see here the, um, the teak really nicely inlaid here and all the facets of the, um, the synthetic teak here. And then into the cockpit space, all completely reupholstered um, with a Silvertex upholstery. And then you've got a Diamante indigo pipe in here. So very, very classic, but looks absolutely superb. And it really, really freshens the interior of this boat. Something that I'll mention now, um, Hawk 34s are, in my view, one of the ultimate classic sports boats. Um, in recent years, quite a few of these boats have been up graded and you can find online and Aquaholic have done some videos as well where they've done complete refits on these but haven't stayed particularly true to what the Hawk 34 was in terms of the cherry interior um, what this boat to me represents is an updated modern classic and I think that's really really important when you look over this boat it feels fresh it feels modern but it feels very very true to Sunseeker and very true to the original way that this boat was designed um, to be used so if I pick this up here I'm just going to take the camera again for a second and what I'm going to do is just move around to um, first start off on the left hand side you can see the fire extinguisher have been upgraded to um, a silver fire extinguisher which works really nicely with in the layout. You've got Dometic fridges which are both um, in the cockpit and also down below in the saloon. They've all been replaced within the last year. If I move this nice lovely Sunseeker towel off here you can see a wet bar under here where you've got cold running water just to wash your hands in the cockpit. As we move forward you have a co-pilot seat which is all padded all around with this Silvertech um, upholstery. A really good grab handle here, so if somebody's in, in any rough weather, you can sit down and you've got good access there. And then Sunseeker have got this really nice design of a, a bolster system. So at the moment, the seat is all the way down, but you can lift it up and then you can be in a seated position. But actually, when I drive this boat, it's really nice to be able to just lock yourself into this steering wheel, uh, it's, it's steering wheel in steering position. The helm position is really ergonomically beautiful. You've got one of these Sunseeker wheels where you've got this gimbal, so that rotates around and then ends up back at exactly the point that it should do with the Sunseeker logo. It's pretty cool. Um, all of the dials, of course, are updated because you've got the Volvo Penta D6 engines on this. You've got a Fusion Bluetooth sound system. You've got twin Raymarine plotters. So the main plotter is up here, which is a Raymarine hybrid touch. Um, you also have a repeater down here that you can have charts on, or you can also have a fish finder on there as well. And then nestling next door to it is the Dockmate system. Now, we're going to do a video on this boat where we go into a lot more detail on the actual Dockmate system in the coming weeks. But you can see here all of the controls where you've got this stern control, bow control through the thrusters, and then this brilliant joystick control where if you want to move the boat sideways, you just move the joystick sideways. If you want to rotate the boat, you just twist the knob and rotate the boat. So it's incredibly controllable, and that's a very, very expensive upgrade that was only fitted within the last week. If we move across, you've got the Raymarine VHF and you also have auto trim tabs on this boat. So you've got the Mente Marine auto tabs. So you just set the position that you want, hit auto next time you're on the boat and it goes straight into that position. In terms of your controls, one thing I've always liked is that the controls on the Hawk 34s are very, very nice and handy uh, just here. So you can be handling a, a big rough sea and you've got the controls right where they should be. EVC controls for the legs. Uh, now they're paired obviously with the D6s, so they're new legs with the D6s. And you've got full control over those to either lift them independently um, or together. And then just nestling under this side power cover, you have this full control for the bow and stern thrusters, which as I mentioned is proportional. So just to control what I meant by that, if I touch the rear thruster, you can hear it just slightly whirring and you can see on the display. However, I move that, the display is going higher and lower, little bit all the way out. 
and then again on the bow. Just touch it or give it lots of beans and it moves very, very powerfully. So that is an incredibly powerful upgrade um, and a beautiful thing to have on a boat. Again, I've never seen another side power proportional bow thruster system um, on a Hawk 34. So what I'm going to do is carry on downstairs and just slip my shoes off because the interior of the boat is as stunning as it is externally. Um, the boat doesn't have any gas on board, so it is fitted with a generator. It's a four kilowatt generator which powers this hob. Um, and there is also a microwave oven, which is just inside here as well. So you've got no gas, which is really nice, a hob and also a microwave. All of the upholstery um, has been refreshed in the last year or so. You've also got these carpets, which are presented in absolutely perfect condition. This lovely table, uh, which just looks brand new. And all of the upholstery is utterly pristine. All of the wall linings, roof linings have all been um, replaced and they've got this really lovely sheen to it, which looks, um, it looks very modern, but still looks authentic. And that's what I'm saying about this boat, that when you come down below, you know that you're on a Sunseeker Hawk 34. It hasn't got lots of gray wrap anywhere. It doesn't have um, sprayed gray um, cupboards, etc. It is authentic cherry. Now all the cherry on this boat has also been relacquered in the last couple of years, just to keep it very fresh and looking stunning. I mentioned two Dometic fridges, there's one down here and that obviously new fridge up in the cockpit as well and then you've got another fusion radio down here which is controlled from upstairs as well. The worktops, I believe it's granite or corine, it's a, it's a, gra it's a hard worktop on there and that's then extended onto the top and then runs all the way down the sides as well with fusion speakers throughout and then this large double bed um, at the bow. If we move around to this side here, you have a 12 volt television, which is inside this cupboard. So this 12 volt, it looks like it's a funny angle, but actually as you lift it out and pull it sideways, the 12 volt television comes out really nicely. You could have a slightly larger TV if you wanted that, um, but that one fits in there beautifully. You've got generator controls up here at the top, and then you've got your distribution panel for everything just down here. So each independent circuit has got its own system on here. I'll close that up. And then down below, finally, you also have a heads. As you can imagine on this boat, it's beautifully presented. Um, you've got a shower that pulls out, so it's a shower and also tap system, and then plenty of storage under there. And the toilet as well is a electric flush toilet. So that is everything down below on the Sunseeker Hawk 34. As you can see, it is presented beautifully. I always give the sort of the boat show example of if you'd gone to the Southampton Boat Show, been on board a brand new boat um, that was a used boat and it looked like this, you'd think you'd just come off a new boat. And this boat absolutely does that. So if we come back upstairs again, and the other thing I didn't mention um, earlier on was talking about the LED um, cockpit floor lights, which are all the way through here. They're all stainless steel LED. And the other really nice feature that I like, now it's something that the, the talking about Fairlines, the Fairline Targa 38 did this with a table, but didn't do it till about 2009, whereas the Sunseeker Hawk actually did this much, much earlier, which is hide the cockpit table. And it's very, very easily to bring out. You just lift this up here. I'm just gonna turn this round for a second and you just lift the table out, pop it down and open up the cockpit table. And there you have a cockpit table that is stored away. Close that up again. I'm doing this one handed. You can lift that up and then just pop this back into there again. And that just slides down into the back and we pop this back into place and then just put this cushion back into place there again. Very, very nice, simple design. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on and show you over the engines. Uh, Jonathan isn't with me today, so it won't be a total comprehensive review, but I know on other videos he has gone through um, the D6s and the difference between the CAD series engines. But what we're going to do now is lift up this ha engine hatch. It's electronically operated and talk to you a little bit about the D6s. Okay, so I'm now down in the engine bay on this Hawk 34. Now, 
there aren't many engine bays I come down with my socks on and that's what I've just done on this particular boat. I take my shoes off to go down below but actually this engine bay is so immaculate that I haven't got a second glance about coming down in socks. Um, the engines look fantastic in here and it's so unusual to see D6s. I'm so used to seeing the CAD series engines um, in these boats but what you have in these D series engines is a brilliant brilliant performance, quieter performance than the CAD series engines. Um, they're common rail diesels. Now what that means if I put it into non-technical terms, because as, as you may know, I'm not mechanically minded, um, but if you think about the old diesel cars, the old diesel cars used to be quite noisy, quite clattery, um, good engines, um, but just quite noisy and a little bit smoky. That's the Volvo Penta CAD series and perhaps the 63 and 73 series engines. What they did in around 2005-06 is they phased those engines out and brought common rail engines in, and this is that generation of engines. So the D series is a common rail engine, much, much quieter, much smoother, um, still very, very strong performance from these. Um, access to do all the, um, the belt changes is really easy. So although they're big engines, actually this engine bay is really large and you have excellent access all the way around the engine bay. Um, you've got access to your oil dipstick on this side. Um, there's another one, I'm not sure they're central. Yes, they have, they've centralized the, the dipsticks onto both sides. Um, you've got your f oil filters. Everything is here and easy to hand. And you've also got your water filter here so when you lift it up you can see inside the strainers to see if you've picked up any seaweed or any debris really really quickly. If I just take the camera again for a second what you'll see down here is you have um, really nice um, water separators um, which are Raycor filters and then just down here you have this Lombardini um, four kilowatt generator which just nestles nicely in the center here so in terms of your weight distribution it's really really good excellent space around here you've got vasa deck which is installed along these um, elbows here so if you're doing any any engine work and you want to get around the side you've got a really nice um, soft feeling underfoot good access to seacocks and you can see down in the bilge uh, it's absolutely um, bone dry bone dry down there and pristine there's also a, let's have a look, is that a battery charger? Yep, you've got a battery charger um, just under there. And then all of your electronics. And there's also fuse systems for your proportional bell thrusters. And there's even a 240 volt power socket down here in the engine bay, which is absolutely brilliant for um, putting a heater or something like that during the winter. So I'm gonna come back out of the engine bay now. I've got a few more things to talk about this boat and then we'll conclude the video. Okay, so we're coming to the end now of this walkthrough tour on this beautiful Hawk 34. Um, it is an absolutely stunning boat. And I love the fact that this boat has been upgraded sympathetically to how the Sunseeker Hawks should have come out of the factory. Um, everything about this boat is absolutely beautiful and it has a fantastic attention to detail. I personally believe this is the best Sunseeker Hawk 34 in the world. I've never seen another one with D6 engines and I've certainly never seen another one with so many upgrades as this. Um, I referred earlier to the covers and I mentioned about this skylight that's in the cover if you look under here you can see this is this carbon sail fabric which has gone in and is used as a skylight and that just gives you a little idea there uh, to the attention to detail that this owner has had when being refitting this boat so all that's left for me to say really is just thank you so much for watching a, um, another Park Islands walkthrough tour of this Sunseeker Hawk 34. I've, what quite the last thing, I just remember there's one thing I haven't mentioned and that was a security system. I should have talked about that. The boat is fitted with a full security system. Um, now this is all wireless and if, the, um, if anyone comes onto the boat, they, what it does is it automatically takes a photograph, immediately sends it to the person's um, smartphone. So it's an amazing system. It's an Ajax system um, and it really is market leading in terms of of boat security. So now I can finish the video. So thank you as always for watching this video. This boat is exceptional. I would be delighted to show anyone this boat. Um, we're going to be going out and doing drone videos on this boat in the next week or so and this boat is also going to be on the Parker Adams sales pontoon on the Hamble River uh, during the Jubilee weekend. So if you're on the Hamble looking um, down at our sales pontoon you will see this sitting there looking absolutely stunning. So thanks as always for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks again.